Hello, hello. Uh, today I am going to make a video reminding everybody that um, medical conditions other than COVID, they still exist. So, yes, medical conditions other than COVID still exist. Right now, I have a horrible sinus infection. I don't know if I sound any different. I mean, I feel like I sound different, but the way others hear you is always a little different than the way you hear yourself. Um, so much pressure on my nose, my cheeks, my ears, this whole... I don't have COVID. That's what I get asked. Well, do you have COVID? No, I don't. I don't have COVID. I have a sinus infection. Um, I think most of it was brought out. I've been doing some uh, work on the house. And I was sanding the... Uh, I was even wearing the respirator mask, but... I was sanding the mud with the drywall. But I was doing the ceiling, so it all just falls. You know, I was even wearing the respirator mask and still... I mean, I was choking on this stuff. It's terrible. But, uh... Just a friendly reminder that when people get sick, there are illnesses other than COVID. You get sick and everybody assumes, do you have COVID? Oh no, stay away from me, you must have COVID. No, I don't have COVID. My cheeks and my ears feel like they're about to explode, but I don't have COVID. My temperature's at 97.6. I don't have a headache other than a little bit on the sides. And that's just because my ears are, have so much pressure, it hurts your head a little bit, you know? So, you know, no, I don't have COVID. And you know, and here's the unfortunate thing. If somebody were to call their place of business, I'm self-employed, so I don't really have to worry about it, all right? But if somebody were to call and say, hey, I don't feel good, and you know, you know, it's a sinus infection, or you're just stuffed up, or you're, you know, you're just, you know, you're not, feeling 100 percent now you got to jump through all these hoops well now you you can't come back to work until you have you know a negative COVID test or some places make you take 10 days off regardless they say oh you have to be off for 10 days and then show a negative COVID test and by the way you're not getting paid for it and then you say well I didn't call you to tell you I have COVID because I don't have COVID my sinuses are acting up and I don't feel like getting out of bed. I got sick time. You know, I have two days worth of sick time. Let me take it. No, you got to take, you can use that for your first two days, but now you got to take eight days off unpaid. Oh, sure. Go. Yeah, great. You know, I was wondering how I was going to pay my rent this month anyway. You know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. People have been so brainwashed into thinking that just because somebody's sick, they have COVID. No. I got a sinus infection. I'm on my way to go get my antibiotics. I'm drinking my water with my Elka seltzer. I I take I took my Mucinex. I've been hacking this stuff up like crazy. It's disgusting, but humans are gross and <coughs> you know it's what it is. You know, I got a sinus infection. That should if I wasn't self-employed, I mean I'm taking my two days off work. I rescheduled my appointments with my uh with my uh, customers and I'm taking my two days off work but if I was employed by somebody else nine times out of ten they tell me oh you have to take ten days off and then provide a negative COVID test well why can't I go get tested today and show you a negative COVID test no CDC guidelines say you have to take ten days off first oh even though I don't have COVID great you guys suck you know that's that's what it is people are brainwashed they think you're sick, you have COVID. They forgot any other illness in the world exists. So, <clears throat> that's all I got. I'm sick. I don't have COVID. <laughs>